What's up guys and gals, Insomniambi here. Tonight I'm going to show you how much gold you can realistically make in one hour of fishing in Crystal Oasis Bay of Elon, which can be found here by the Amnoon Waypoint and the fishing supplies you may need are going to be here. I'm going to be using the scorpions and I'm going to be using the jade fishing lure but you can also use the antique fishing lure. I highly recommend eating some whitefish sushi but for this video I'm going to be using the redfish sushi. They both have the same power but as you can see the whitefish sushi sushi is much cheaper. I only ever make this, I never buy the redfish sushi. Okay, so I've maxed out my fishing mastery. Um, not so much my skiff piloting, but that has not stopped me from being successful in fishing. Okay, so now I'm gonna consume the sushi and I'm gonna show you how much that increases my power. And I'm gonna show you where you wanna be at. You wanna pretty much be above 500, definitely. If you're, if you're at 550 fishing power, that's okay, but 575 I find is pretty reasonable. While I'm fishing, I'm going to be trying something a little bit different for my channel just to spice things up a little bit. I'm going to share with you guys some personal paranormal stories that my family has told me growing up. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off by saying that I'm a skeptic when it comes to the paranormal. I have never seen any kind of ghosts or aliens or any kind of demons. Um... It doesn't mean that I do want to see that. If they do exist, I really don't want to see that, man, because I don't think I could handle that. Like, I'll probably just shit my pants right there. I mean, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. Um, I have had a few uh, maybe experiences that were questionable, but not really something to make me say, oh, man, it's real. It's real, bro. But anyways, I wrote two of these stories down, and the last story that I'm going to share is something that happened to me, but I was really young, so it really could be anything. Okay, so this one was something that I heard my aunt telling my mom one day. And this happened over there in Mexico because everything in Mexico was just hella creepy, dude. Like Mexico, like Mexico, oh my god. Um, first of all, like there's really no light pollution over there. Like everything is just really dark at night. Like all you see is stars lighting up the sky. And the first time I saw that, it overwhelmed me because I have never seen so many stars. It was just creepy to me. And it's pitch black over there at night. It's really creepy. Um... But yes, I'm going to try to pull some pictures of where this location is. I, I haven't been over there in a long time, so I don't know. It, for all I know, it's abandoned uh, or not. It's just a small town in the middle of nowhere. But yes, um, my aunt was telling my mom one day that uh, my two little cousins who were about three or four at the time would start crying hysterically and running for my aunt at random times during the day. And... When they would finally come down, my aunt would be like, Hey, you know, what's going on with you guys? Why are you guys crying like maniacs? And, you know, what are you doing? And then they would explain that an old woman would peek out of an old wardrobe that they had. And she would, like, shush them. She would, like, you know, place her finger over her lips and be like, shh. And tell them to be quiet whenever they played near the wardrobe. And, yeah, every time they would just play by it, the old lady would just come out and just shush them. And this happened so much that my aunt and uncle just finally just decided to burn the damn thing because it was just way too creepy. Over there in Mexico, they have a very real belief in, in witchcraft, but they call it brujeria over there. And yeah, it's very real over there. I mean, I, I don't want to mess with it. I have seen some stuff over there, like, you know, that I guess witches, but to me, they were just old ladies, but apparently they were witches. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've also seen something well, one time we came across this jar over there i forgot what it's called they called it something but it's, it's like a jar with like maybe a photo of somebody inside of it and uh some kind of liquid and my dumb ass i was gonna go pick it up and then my grandma she just you know slapped my hands back don't fuck you know don't touch and say that word she just said don't touch that and um i forgot what it's called there's a name for it maybe i'll google it and i'll post it here but yes, um, so yeah, witchcraft over there, Brukeria, is no joke. They don't even play around with that. Okay, now this one, I'm going to post a picture of the road where this happened. Um, pretty much, it's like a road that's on this either side of them, or that there used to be. I don't know if that's the case now, but it's like a road with like trees on either side, and there's like a little canal on each side where water goes through, of course, and trees, and it's surrounded by field for like farmers. But um, yeah, my uncle, he used to like partying like all night. He would like stay up until like three, four in the morning, just like in the city drinking, having a good old time. And he would drive down that old, creepy, dark road in the middle of the night. No fear. All you can see is like, you know, you know, your headlights, like a few feet in front of the truck. And um, <clears throat> yeah, like what, like one night he was driving home, uh, you know, in the middle of the night. And he said that he saw like this fine ass chick. He was like, oh my God, you know, and 
of course it was it's weird you know like just a woman by herself walking in the dark and only illuminated by my uncle's headlights so he pulls up next to her and he's like hey do you need any help and she just ignored him and just kept on walking so at the time he thought that she could have just been going through like a hard time with her boyfriend and she would just wanted to be alone and she didn't care i mean i i i've been through that like been through a breakup where you're really like not even scared and you're just like whatever man whatever happens to me happens and she was probably just walking you know i've been through that so he thought that that's what she was going through so he's like hey well if you need any help i can take you to your you know family to your mother or to your sister because it's like four in the morning and it's pitch black over here you can't even see in front of you you know it's not safe and people have fallen in the canals that surround that road and they have drowned because of carelessness like that they've crashed their cars in there and they've just like walked in there and drowned so she continues to ignore my uncle and she continues walking and he's just looking at her like the only thing he could hear is this engine you know I guess rumbling you know waiting for a response but no and then this woman she walks a few feet more and she stops and then she turns around and he said that she was an ape like a straight-up ape an ape woman and she started you know wilding out she started climbing on his truck and jumping on his roof and just acting like a maniac and of course my uncle being scared shitless I would imagine just you know hot ass you know luckily he didn't go into one of the canals but um yeah that's one that he he was talking with my uncle about all of these stories like are just things that i've overheard they could have just been trolling me just to scare me but i don't know man just like his shakiness in his voice like it sounded pretty authentic i've never really like you know heard them they're like manly men they're like farmers man they're like tough men who are out there you know raising cows and you know in mexico and all kinds of BS, but like whenever it comes to like stuff like that, they don't play around with that. Like they don't, they, they don't want to believe in you know stuff like that because it's too freaking scary. Okay, so this next one actually happened to me, and this happened when I was very young, maybe around six or seven, I want to say. But um, I was playing. Don't ask me why, but we had like a whole bunch of VHS tapes, and there are these big blocky things that you know ancient people used to watch. You know back in ancient times and these things called vcrs but anyways we had a whole bunch of them and we had a whole bunch of them and i was like making like um like buildings out of the cassette tapes and i was making my little toy wrestlers like jump off you know just having a good time just you know playing with my toys and i remember i was watching the history channel and my old ass tv i had a big old box you know tv and i was watching um it was a documentary about demons and i don't know why the f you know why i was watching that you know i'm I, I i i don't know it was just on and um yeah like it was just on i really wasn't watching it i was just watching the history channel but i guess that came on but i was too focused on my toys to change the channel but i was sitting there playing my having a good time minding my own business and then all of a sudden i hear like a lion's roar like come out of the wall and it, the wall like literally shaked and it shaked me it, like I, I felt like the sound you know shake it through me and I was like, holy shit, like I'm getting chills right now just even thinking about it, talking about it. And um, yeah, well, I, I got up quickly and I ran and like, I, I actually like ran so fast that I jumped on the wall and then jumped from the wall, like, you know, off the wall towards my mother's room where she just thought I was being like a crazy little maniac. And she's like, what the hell is wrong with you? And I didn't even tell her, like I just, I just went with her and just like chilled with her for a while. <laughs> and then, and then like after about an hour i'm like okay i gotta go see what's you know going on in my room because uh you know if i don't i'm gonna have to explain to my mother you know what the hell's going on and i know she's not gonna believe me she's gonna tell me to shut the hell up and then go back to sleep or something so i don't know i come into my room and there's like nothing really going on um nothing happened all my toys were there i didn't really see anything but i remember that like it was yesterday and then that's one of the creepiest things but I don't know it could be anything it could have been maybe i don't think it was a tv because those little tvs at the time they had like little ass speakers it was a mono speaker so i know for damn sure that speaker could not have that much bass to shake my wall and or something like that and it was a lion's roar like or maybe not a lion but like you know a giant cat like a lion i don't know i'll, I'll post like a like a sample of what that might sound like right here but yes and then also this could be just something electrical but in that same house i had like a little radio 
uh, like an old school CD player radio and I was doing something I was watching some kind of movie it was like around maybe 12 at night 11 it was a summer because I know I was staying up late and I remember my stereo turned on by itself and just like the volume went full blast I'm like what the hell I, I saw it turn on and I didn't see the knob moving because it had a knob but it had a digital display and I, 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 I don't know, I just saw like the volume go up digitally. I didn't see the knob turning, I just saw the digital thing go up and I was like, what the fuck? And I didn't do anything, I just turned it off and I was like, okay, I just thought it was kind of weird. But I remember sitting there thinking like, okay, if this happens again, I'm gonna break that freaking thing and I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here, dude. And there you go. This is what one hour of fishing looks like in Guild Wars 2, Crystal Oasis. And I gotta say, it's pretty consistent. Every time I come over here and I fish for one hour, this is pretty much what I make average, which is about 14 gold I have here. But let's go ahead and open everything up and see how much gold we have. And there we go, we came out with 11 chunks of ancient ambergris, which we can sell at the trading post for about 240, 240 silver, which is pretty decent. So that's 26 gold, which is not bad for one hour of fishing at all. So I'd like to sell it cheaper than what the current price is. Let's see. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Of course, some people like to save it and stockpile it and like sell hundreds of that, but um. I yeah, I don't know. I just like to I, I just like to sell it immediately. And these materials, I just deposit what I can and I sell the rest. These uh, flawless fish fillets, you can trade them into chunks of uh, ambergris by the fishing monger over there. It's cost. Um, what do they cost? The ambergris cost like ten of these per ambergris, so you can get five per day. So that's an extra. Uh, 20, 20 gold, I believe. Or no, actually 10 gold. Somewhere around there. 11 gold. I don't know. <laughs> and there you go. You can make about 25 gold an hour fishing in Crystal Oasis. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a like and maybe even a subscription. But that's it for me. I'll see you next time.